Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the TypeScript. So today we are going to learn about how to creating decorator factories in TypeScript. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. If you want to customize how decorator is applied to a declaration, we can write a decorator factory. A decorator factory is simply a function that returns the expression that will be called by the decorator at runtime. Sometimes we will need to pass the additional options to the decorator when applying it. For that, we have to use the decorator factories. So let's see. So this, this is you can see about this is the decorator factory. It set up the return decorator function. So they have the return function. This is the decorator do something with the target and the value. Okay. Here we have the example. So here you can see that the decorator factory logger. So here decorator factory logger. The logger function is a decorator. So here we have the logger function which is a decorator factory that takes a log string parameter. It returns a decorator function. It returns a decorator function. Okay. It returns a decorator function which will be applied to a class. Inside the decorator function, it logs the custom log string. Okay. And the constructor function of the inside the class. So, constructor function inside the log the class constructor function. Okay. Applying the decorator at the red logger. So here you can see that at the log at the logger. Okay. Hello world. Okay. Or whatever you can say at the logger logging person syntax applies in the decorator factory to the person class. The custom log string argument in this case is logging person. So the custom log string argument is the custom log string. This one log string. What is the this one? This is that one. So in the runtime, apply the decorator factory with the custom log string. So here we are have the string that is the this is log string. Okay. So what would it, it will call? Hello world. Okay. Or you can see that the logging person, the person class. Here you have the person class, right? So this is person class. The person class has the name property and the constructor method. So it has the name property and the constructor method. Okay. The constructor method has a method logs a message. So creating a person object has a log message. When a new instance of the person class is created. Okay. So new instance of the person class is created. Here instance is created. An instance of the person class is created with the const person new person. Logging the instance console dot log person finally instance person is logged to the console. Okay, then after that this will call person log the instance of the to the console. So let's check this one in the code level. Okay, what exactly it is? Okay, so let's comment this one. Add our code. Okay, let's try to run. So, what what is the flow of that one? Okay, so here we have a first defining a decorator factory function logger. So this is a this is basically a decorator part, and it, and this decorator function generated by the factory. Okay, this is factory, and this is the decorator. Okay, we are just returning that one. Okay, so log the custom log string, log the class constructor function. So this is the flow. What what is the first a logger hello world. So when it apply the decor when we are applying the decorator factory with the custom log string first is hello world because we are sending the hello world. So here it will go and it will log the custom log string that is hello world. Then we have a constructor. Whatever we written in the constructor creating the person object. So it will log over here. Okay. Then we are creating an instance of the decorated class, right? And then log the instance to the console. Then here we can see that the name this part is consoling over here. Okay. So my under, under, 
So here you can see that logger function is a decorator factory that takes log string parameter. So here you can see that this decorator this takes takes the value parameter that is the decorator factory. Okay, so in short, what is decorator? Sometimes you need to pass additional options to the decorator when applying it. For that, you you will use the decorator factories. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.